the cosmic language in their books, some writers make mention of the cosmic language, which they sometimes even call the Uranic language. It may well be that some letters of the cosmic language are known and intelligible to them, but up to this day nobody has dealt with it in detail. The Hermetic will know from what has been said that by cosmic language the language of God, or divine providence, is meant. By this, God, as universal spirit, has created everything that exists in the universe, starting from the tiniest up to the greatest and highest, that is, according to the unshakable laws by which God is expressing his own self. Therefore we can only understand God via his legality in the universe and clothe the synthesis of his laws into words to reveal him as the highest original principle which may ever be intelligible to man. To understand the Qabbalah and to use it practically means comprehending the cosmic language on the basis of universal legality. Thus, the cosmic language is a language of the law, a language of power and authority, and at the same time also a language of dynamics, that is, of condensation, materialization and realization. Seen from the Qabbalistic angle, to speak the cosmic language means to form and create within the scope of the universal laws. Only the initiate who understands and masters the universal laws in their absoluteness may avail himself of the cosmic language when dealing with human beings and beings of other spheres. To speak the cosmic language, to be truly creative, that is, to deputize for God as his true image, is something that is only possible for someone what is able to concentrate quadrupolarly. Why quadrupolarly, I shall explain that in detail in the next chapter. Consequently, the cosmic language is not the language by which spiritual beings make themselves understood to one another. The communication between spiritual beings, no matter of whatever hierarchy, is effected intellectually by means of the so-called metaphorical language. The thoughts are transferred by symbolic images, acoustically, telepathically and by emotion, from being to being. The language or the spiritual beings, being imperfect, therefore is only a partial aspect of the cosmic language, it is, magically speaking, not so effective since the beings do not make use of quadrupolarity when making themselves understood. The cosmic language is the most perfect language that exists, for it is analogous to the laws, that is, it expresses the universal laws in their cause and effect. The cosmic language is therefore the great fiat, it shall be.